Hi guys. So today we're going to go over Imagine Web. So it is one of the latest in the generative AI field, which offers primarily text to art. And later on, we're going to launch Image Remix and a lot of other exciting features. So let's go over what Imagine Web has to offer and just go through the general platform. So let me head over to Imagine Web. So as you can see, this is our landing page. And first off, you can see the community section, which is going to be launched in the times to come. We have our Discord button and Instagram button, which basically takes you to the designated platforms. And we have the go to dashboard button, which takes you to our main tools dashboard. So over here, you can see a glimpse of our prompt input field component, which you can basically straight away click on, write something and hit, on, hit the generate button to land on to the main dashboard. So here's a sh short video playing of what Imagine Web is capable of and the potential that it has. Over here, there are some of, are some of the tools that we'll be launching and some of the tools that are already pr present. And at the bottom, you can see an inspiration section uh, to show you what we're capable of. So let's write head, head on into the actual dashboard. So a short loading. So this is our main dashboard, which where all the magic happens and you can generate images and play around based on your imagination, whatever you want to create literally. So I'm going to type a, a short phrase, a cat flying in the sky. And hit the generate button. So as you can see, uh, it generated an image of a cat flying in the sky. Uh, if I want to basically go over the aspect ratios, uh, you can literally see on the right, we have multiple aspect ratios, like nine by 16 ratio, 16 by nine, four by three and three by two. So I'm going to select uh, 16 by nine landscape ratio and go into the style section, which offers multiple styles. By default, the popular section is selected in which you can go over our most famous styles that you can choose. If you go into all, you can view all the styles that Imagine Web has to offer, which are a lot. In the favorites section, if you basically add a style to your favorites, so that particular style will appear in the favorites section. So moving towards higher resolution, this function basically allows you to upscale the base image, which is basically in 512 by 512 ratio to 768 by 768, which basically produces higher output quality images as compared to the base value. So I'm going to switch this on and uh, the negative prompt basically feature offers you uh, a way to remove any elements that you believe aren't uh, like aren't are unwanted in your image and you want to basically have a more uh, uh, organized or I would say a more accurate image based on the prompt that you're entering. So I would write um, any basically amputations shins and uh, more than five fingers and so on. So the CFG scale allows you to basically determine how much closer your actual result should be to the prompt. So if you keep the scale higher, so it's going to keep the result closer to the prompt, but it can obviously generate uh, not so good results because it is exactly for following the prompt and leaves li little room for the AI to be imaginative and show its actual potential. Steps basically highlights how many steps it should add in terms of the time that you're giving our AI model to generate the image. So like any uh, normal painter when he or she is creating a painting. So normally if they're creating a very complex project, so it can take a lot more time as compared to a simple image or simple painting. Same is the case over here. So if you increase the number of steps, it is going to take longer, but generate more details. So I'm going to set this to 40. And the seed value is basically the unique identifier for results. So if you set the seed value to one and keep generating uh, for that particular seed, it is going to keep making iterations for that particular image that you started with. So now I'm going to write Superman in outer space. 
and hit the generate button. So this created Superman in landscape view and the alert uh, icon on the collections basically highlights that a new collection has been created. So collections are created whenever you change any setting in the setting sidebar and you basically just change the setting and not the prompt. So while changing the prompt, another collection is also created. Uh, and if you change any particular setting on the right, the collection is created then again. So let's keep generating and see how the basically the platform responds to multiple generations. So if you also hover over uh, the button while it's processing, it offers you the functionality to stop processing. So let's generate a few more. Okay. So if you hover over a particular image, it gives you the option to basically view the image in full view. We can also do that by just clicking on the image and also downloading the individual image. An export all option is also available to export all the images that are in a particular collection that you've selected. So this is the full view and you can basically go across the go and view other images by literally cycling between the images from the chevrons on the right or the left or clicking on the image that you want to preview. So clicking anywhere outside or on the cross is going to close the full view. Up above you on the top app bar, you can see the various uh, features that we're going to offer, uh, which are basically image remix in painting, expand and replace. Uh, all the features except for uh, text to art are uh, currently in production and they'll be launching very soon. So stay tuned for that. So let's head on over to the main dashboard. So this is our main dashboard where all the features and all the settings for the users are present. The main, our main tool is text to image. That's why we've kept this at the forefront for users to e easily identify and just go in and start creating. So if you hover over a particular component, you can actually click on it and go inside or you can just click on the generate art button and go inside as well. Over here on the left, you can see uh, multiple options like the community showcase, which is going to be launched soon. The community showcase will contain assets and art being generated by other users, other artists, just like you, and who will showcase their work, get uh, you know likes from other users and build a social community and on the platform. The personal feed section will basically contain the user's own personal history, the assets that he or she has saved, and anything that the uh, that the user has posted on the for the community showcase and any of the favorites any like picture their, their own picture or any other user's picture that they've liked the manage subscription section basically contains our plans and what viro is basically offering for the premium users the customer support section basically contains two links for the email us button and send us a message on discord so do join us on our Discord community. It's free. Just log in, interact with the community, and, you know, have a fun time. So this is all from my side, and see you in the next one.